Hello and welcome to my 19th video lesson in using Blender 2.6. In this video I'm going to cover how to bring objects from one file into another file. Um, there's two ways to do this. Um, there is linking and appending, two ways. Um, I'm going to use a file um, with a monkey head in it, the monkey head Suzanne. Um, and I've customized this monkey head. I've extruded some faces to make kind of very blocky horns. And I've extruded the eyes and applied a very kind of emissive material, a yellow emissive material, to the faces on the ends of the extruded eyes. Why did I do this? I have no idea. Um, so I'm going to open up a new Blender file. And I'm going to go to File Append. There's Link and Append. I'm going to cover Append first, then Link. So when you append a file, it's as good as if you had created that object that you append um, in the new imp or in the new scene or in the new file. So if I go to desktop and I select the monkey head blend file that contains the monkey head, we're not just importing a file, we're importing elements or objects from that file. So if I click on the file monkey head blend, it lists different categories um, within that file. It has brushes, cameras, lamps, materials, meshes, objects, scenes, and even worlds. And I can import basically anything from that file. Um, in, into my new file. Um, now there's two categories that might get uh, you can be a bit confused. There is meshes and objects. These two are not the same and in fact I found that if you go into meshes it'll list that monkey head but this does not work. I'm not sure why I haven't quite gotten that deep into it um, but what I do know does work is if you go into objects. This will actually list all the objects in that file. So in that scene or that file I have a camera a lamp and a monkey. I'm going to just select the monkey and then I'll press link append from library. As I started to say before, uh, I'll go ahead and delete this cube. Uh, as I started to say before, doing append or going to file append and importing an object uh, makes that object in your scene. It copies all that data from one file into this new file. Um, it's as good as if I had made this this monkey head or and edited it in this file. I can move it you know, I can move it, I can scale it, I can rotate it, I can go into edit mode and I can change things about it and I can save this file. I'm going to go ahead and save it as um, appended scene dot blend. Um, and that is a copy of that data. Um, I can change it in here and that's all good. So that's how you bring one object from a uh, file into another file. The other option, um, which is even more powerful in some respects is linking. And linking um, is the, done the same way almost. It's under file and it's link. And you can go and find a file that you want to um, import. So I'm going to find the monkeyhead.file and select object and select the monkey and press link append from library. But you'll notice, I'll go ahead and delist, delete the cube. You'll notice that when the object is selected, you don't get a gizmo when you link. And you also um, will notice that it turns blue. It has a blue outline rather than a orange outline, as most objects do have. If we look on our Outliner window, which lists all the um, objects in the scene, in the, or essentially, um, we've got a, ca a camera, a lamp, and the monkey has a different icon next to it. It has a linked icon next to it. And you'll notice that um, the hide object or select object or render, um, all these icons are grayed out. You can still render with it, of course, so that monkey head does show up when you render by pressing F12. Um, but you can't really do anything with the object. If I go into the mode um, pull up pull up menu, I can only be in object mode. So um, if you want to move this object, um, that's a few things that we can do. You can move the object in the original scene and it'll move in uh, this file. Um, or we can make what's called a proxy of this object. Now this isn't very hard to do. Uh, it sounds scary, but it's not. If I press the spacebar and search for proxy, you'll see that I can make this object into a proxy, which is control alt p Or you can go to the object menu with the monkey head selected and select make proxy. And when you select make proxy, you have to click again. You get that uh, orange outline. You get a gizmo. Um, it still has uh, well, has actually a new icon next to it in the um, outliner window. But now you can scale the object. You can rotate it. You can uh, move it, um, and you can apply modifiers to it. So I could apply a 
uh, subsurf or subdivision surface modifier to it to make it smoother, and I can make it smooth. But the difference here is that this monkey head is not actually fully in this file. It's still kind of pointing towards that other other file. So I'm going to go to save. I'll save this file. I'm going to call this uh, linked underscore scene um, dot blend. Now when you're linking, because um, you're just pointing to another, another file, you have some caveats and some benefits here. If you're importing multiple files from different files into your new file, um, you're not going to make your f new file a whole lot bigger. If you were to bring all that data by appending, it would make the, the file very big and very slow in Blender. Um, and by linking, you can make changes to that object or any of the objects in your scene that you link um, in the original files, and those changes will be immediate in the new Blender file that you created. So I'm going to save this um, linked scene. So file save or control S. And I'm going to go back to the original monkeyhead.blend file. Not sure why it's not opening. There we go. And I'm going to make some changes to it. So I'm going to make the uh, purple color a different color. Oopsie. Maybe I'll make it um, aqua, essentially. And maybe I will make these uh, horns much taller. So I'll go out of edit mode by pressing tab and save this monkeyhead.blend file. And let's take a look at the um, scenes that we made. I'm going to open appended scene first, the one in which I appended the file. And the monkey head is still uh, purple. And we've got long horns because I did that with the file earlier. Um, but this did not reflect the changes that I made to the original monkey file because I made a copy of that data before I made the monkey um, aqua or made the horns go out straight. This is a different set of long horns. Um, I'm going to go and check out the linked scene file. And as you can see, um, in the linked scene, it did reflect those changes. It looks a little bit different because I applied the subsurf modifier, so I'll get rid of that. Um, this is essentially the same monkey head that is in the other original file. Now, that's great. It will reflect changes, so if I change the original file, it'll change the new file. But that also means that I need to take care of, or yeah, take care of file management. If I move the original file, um, actually I'll do that. I'm going to save this file, save. I'm going to close that, and I'm going to go ahead and delete the original monkey head file. And let's see what happens with Blender. I'm not actually sure. Um, so link scene dot. Oh, what happened here? I do not want to delete that. Um, link scene up then there we go sorry about that when I deleted or when I deleted that monkey head blend file and I opened the linked scene it couldn't find that other file so what did it do um, it just made an empty this is called an empty it's just three intersecting lines uh, to kind of stand in for that object because it couldn't find it so that means that you have to take care of folder management when you're linking um, but it is very powerful because you can have different people working on different objects and making them better and updating them as you go. Um, so that's it for linking objects and appending objects. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.